Coach, and the guy's well hot. The three-point line, he gets a good look there. Bonner gets open, yes. He had made a total of five threes in the first eight playoff games this year for the Spurs. In 20 attempts, he's three for three tonight. Dragic answers at the other end. Second year playoffs are making Spurs pay for all switches. Great block by Dragic. Led and trailed by as many as 18 in the first half. Well, I think it's been the three point shooting is Genova. Great help there to knock it away. Here comes Parker. Three on two. George Hill. And it's rejected by Fry right into the hands of Parker, who misses the floater. Dragic cross court. Barbosa. And Dragic is fouled. A great block there by Channing Fry. Doesn't give up on the play. And off to the races go the Suns. But I'm amazed that they're still in this. It's been the three-point shooting. They're 9 of 18, 50%. Phoenix only has two second-chance points, eight fast break points, and three offensive rebounds for the game. Now four with that one. Numbers that you would think that this team would not have a chance. What a oh, great throw. Rocket switches hands, and the Suns have their first lead of the night. Is that Rajon Rondo? <laughs> And oh, the bench for Phoenix, J.B., exploded after that play by Dragic. Belonging to least Steve Nash over there, the better. Bonner. Got his own miss and knocks it down as the Spurs go back on top. How long does Nash remain out? Again, a switch to pick and roll. No way. That Blair is going to be able to keep Barbosa from getting to the basket. Plenty of time. Dragic puts the brakes on, stops on a dime, spins and hits. <laughs> Bumping Ginobili. And Dragic taking advantage of the switch. The bigger Dwan Blair cannot stay with him. Great up fake. Goes to the right hand. And again, this time it's Parker. Jump stop, pivot. Easy little jump shot in the lane. Second unit for Phoenix has been a force at times. Four bench players in there right now along with Grand Hill. Parker showing Dragic. And the Jazz. Listen to Alvin Gentry talk at a point guard, Goran Dragic. Be aggressive. Make a couple mistakes, that's fine. You know, just be aggressive, all right? That's it. Alvin Gentry, this has been a year-long process with Goran Dragic. He has told Dragic all year long, if you make mistakes, you're staying in. If you miss a shot, you're staying in. Don't look at the bench. Gentry says to him, if you don't shoot the next one, I'm going to take you out. He is trying to get his players to have confidence and to do the things that he knows they're capable of doing. Well, I like what he did with Dragic. During the season, his partner hits a run. During the season, instead of taking Steve Nash out and putting Dragic in to make him run the team, he would put him in with Steve Nash for about two minutes. And, and I thought that got him going. He knew he had to come in the game. He could feel his way in. He didn't have to be the guy running the team. As here we go again, in the paint, jump stop. Uh, he's a, a much better athlete than people give him credit for. He's huge the basketball. He's got nice size. Pretty crafty, too, when he gets into the paint. Sure. And, and, and he and Barbosa right now have all 11 of the points here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, in game two, it was Dudley and Amundsen who gave him a big boost off the bench as Duncan converts. Here to game three, it is Dragic and Barbosa. Fry gave him a big boost in game two as well. This is quite a second unit they've got. Dragic again. Yes. Keep being aggressive, Alvin Gentry says, and Goran Dragic has done a heck of a job of listening tonight. It looked like Alvin looked over. It'll stay with San Antonio. It has been the Goran Dragic show here the last few minutes. Well, again, it's the it's the switch. Duncan's on him. Does a nice job of taking his time. Jump stop. Reverse. Had a big lead. He couldn't stay with him as Manu gets to the basket. Alvin Gentry couldn't stay with that group. He got him out early, but they're certainly making amends here in the fourth quarter. Ginobili with 22. Dragic and Barbosa have combined for 23 points. And they're working as a tandem again. Dragic oh knocks goodness. it down! <laughs> he was just looking for the foul and three free throws, and he hit the shot! Are they going to give him the three? Holy cow, what a shot!
I think they're going to check to see if it was a two or a three. That's a three. I think it was. I think that's a three. How in the world? Here we go. He's, yeah, that's a three. We can definitely see space with his left foot. That's going to be three and one free throw. And when you look at this, we got a chance to have the Suns have a nine-point game. And what great timing to have a wired with Alvin Gentry yeah. and just instilling confidence. In the guy. Hey, I know you made mistakes. Don't worry about it. Just play. Be aggressive. And sure enough, this guy's got a shot to be the hero of game three. The first quarter, J.D., up to 91 now with over six to go. Uh, we, we talked about how they were not going to shoot the ball as poorly as they did the first half. And here they are. Great attack of Tim Duncan. And this kid right here is the show for the Phoenix Suns in the fourth quarter. 18 now for Drive. It's all of them in the second half. Parker. A little bit short. Rebound to Dragic. Steve Nash leading the cheers over on the Phoenix bench right now. Barbosa. All the way. And they are picking them apart. Greg Popovich needs another timeout. What a performance by the second unit of the Phoenix Suns here in the second half. Warren Drogic is becoming a hero in Phoenix right now. It's, he's done everything. The three ball, jump stops in the lane, over Tim Duncan, four-point plays. Drogic and the Suns looking to take a commanding 3 nothing lead. Where caring happens. Now, this one has gotten away from bottom of the Spurs in a hurry. An 18-point first-half lead is now an 11-point deficit. Welcome to the Goran Dragic Show. Now here to the AT&T Center. Young man, second year in the league, who says he used to wake up at 4 in the morning in his native Slovenia to watch his basketball idol play. Who was his idol? Steve Nash. You were second. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who, whose draft rights did they get him from? In a draft day deal from the San Antonio Spurs, he taps it back out to Barbosa. He thought about the three, he cradles it, scoops it up, and draws the foul. And you're right. He's much more athletic than maybe anybody realized. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's not just crafty, he's not just knocking down shots, he's got some quicks and he's got some ups. Yeah. He and Leandro Barbosa have 22 to 24 Phoenix points here in the quarter. How about 24 Great. points in less than seven minutes? I mean, that's just not your typical Spurs defense. Though. This Phoenix Suns team, you got to give them all the credit in the world. On the NBA Sunday night. And maybe the Spurs just playing to stay alive Sunday night unless they can rally in a hurry and win this one. We've understood our guys who make three-point shots, runners for four-point plays, and then there's two feet, two from the free throw line. And how do you explain, say, game two, Dudley and Fry are huge off the bench. Dragic and Barbosa don't do anything. Game three, Dragic and Barbosa lead the way. Well, that, means, that means you got a heck of a bench, right? And, and this team has a heck of a bench. We bail them out time and time again. Oh, hey, here we go. Unbelievable. <laughs> Their bench is going nuts. And, and give Al get a big one. And they're taking full advantage. Goran Dragic with 21 second half points. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, this, this Phoenix team was hovering around 35% shooting for the better part of the first half. Yeah, they're up to 55% shooting. 